guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a while since i have filmed a youtube video so here i am and i'm gonna give you just a quick update of my rhinoplasty surgery because i promise you i'll give you an update and now it's been seven months after my surgery i'm coming freshly with my skin without any makeup without any filters so you can see the nose and how the nose looks like without any makeup and filters so let's show it first to you so you can have a look and see almost the permanent result let's get straight into it here is my nose from the front you can see that it's perfectly straight here are my nose reels and i haven't had any problems with it i got sick once again so because i was like I haven't been sick uh, I haven't been sick in a while like for 6 months and then I got sick so I don't know if it's the universe anyway despite that I've been feeling pretty great I still breathe better than before and now let's show you the profiles the left and the right one so here is the right profile I am gonna attach some photos so you can see it better here is the left one what is important is that i started wearing sunglasses and they're like light sunglasses so i don't feel them too heavy on my nose i apply sun cream protection every day to protect the nose and the, the skin and i started doing my skincare routine as usual going to hydrofacial and deep facial cleanings and actually last week i even went uh, to clean up the nose because the skin is still oily i don't know if you can see it but now it looks better than it was before during the first month i can say that almost like 80 85 percent i feel the nose like before i don't really remember to be honest like how my old nose feels like felt like but still when i touch it it feels normal only here on the tip is still a little bit i don't know if it's a little bit more uh, swollen but I know that it takes time and I still have halfway to go through. I receive a lot of messages on Facebook and on Instagram coming from girls from all the world asking me about my surgery, who I went with about the surgery, how I managed to stay so calm and what was my experience. I have a video I'm gonna touch here sharing more about my experience. And again, I'm gonna say that the doctor I had my surgery with is Gürke Matsau, his clinic is in Istanbul and I've been in non-stop contact with his team even now if I have questions I have even started translating to some Bulgarian patients that want to go with the doctor and to be honest like that's the best team that you could possibly have for a surgery and for such an experience it doesn't matter if it's for rhinoplasty surgery or a facial surgery because the doctor is a facial plastic surgeon too and one thing i can guarantee for sure is that they will take good care of you before and after the surgery even after a year if you text them and you have questions last thing i'm gonna share is that i actually went to turkey in march when the doctor checked my nose from the inside i still had stitches back then but he said that everything looks good and now i think i do not have any stitches because even inside i feel the nose good what i did when i was in istanbul is i had botox added on my forehead and now i think it's almost dissolved but i'm gonna try and show you that when i do like that i do not have the wrinkles i used to have and only here maybe you can see them but i'm pretty happy with the result and i will totally come back to istanbul and to his clinic and have more like procedures like botox and basically if i want to do any changes with my body or face i will definitely go back to this clinic and do it again and now that it's been over six months i'm pretty happy i regret that i haven't done it sooner because it's really not that scary of course i know that a lot of people are scared before they go 
for the surgery and they're, sco uh, they're scared from the anesthesia, but I can guarantee that if you trust your doctor, again, I'm saying that if you trust your doctor, you'll be in really good hands. And if he has a great team like mine has, it will be amazing. And you have a lovely time in Istanbul, especially if you love like nice and delicious food. And if you love some sightseeing and this type of culture. I hope that this video was useful to you. I will drop down all the contacts and if you have more questions, feel free to ask me anytime and text me anytime on Instagram because I'm sharing more there and be more responsive there. Bye.